Hello and welcome to another episode on iCloud Bypass. Today we do have the iPhone 7 right over here which is being on the passcode or disable screen. So this method we're going to use FRP for bypass or FRP for RAM disk to RAM disk this or to bypass the passcode activation. So first we have to put a device into recovery mode then now on our windows we, we need to disable windows defender or red time protection on our windows machine first before we can extract the frp file ram disk so here we do have when you move to the virus and threat protection settings you have to turn the red time protection off and then after that you have to extract the zip file of the FRP file so we are here we do have the folder right here containing the FRP file RAM disk tool so first run the FRP file RAM uh, uh, RAM disk tool then when the RAM 2 disk open hit on boot pan D F P P W N D which is the pan D F U mode let's so first let's put the device into D F U mode by using the power key and the volume down so I'll be fast forwarding this part so now our device is indeed the PAM DFU mode and when we click on boot PWMD on the FRP RAM disk our, our phone will be detected showing our device is in PAM DFU and also you can do it if your device is in recovery mode by they will show you instruction to put your device into recover uh, dfu mode so let's wait for the device to boot into pan dfu after that then we put it using the boot ram disk at the next step so here we are done so we use the boot ram disk so as the latest version you have the option for you to choose either you do have the ios 14 ios 15 and also 16 so currently this ios 16 boot works for the 8 and 8 plus only for now so if you do have iphone 15 uh, iphone x run on the latest 16 you can downgrade it to ios 15.7 then proceed so here we do have our device in the and dfa and our ecid is being registered so if you are being prompt your ecid is not registered dm me i'll leave a link in the description of the video for you to dm me or contact me so here we do have our device being put into the ram disk menu here you see the variables boot so here we have to do backup for so you have to back up our activation record so we click on backup passcode or disable screen so click on it and wait for it to start backing up your fair play file and activation record so wait for it to finish backing up so it is done so you have two options after you successfully back up your activation record first you have to make sure your backup file are are complete or intact so here we do have the folder right over showing us it in zip folder so let's open the zip folder and move into the fair, uh, activation record so here we do have our activation record and also move into the fair play so in the fair play itunes control so itunes now you should have your activation record right over here so yours may be four you may have active for activation files so here after that you have to reset your device and you can use the factory reset direct or open 3u2 so when you open 3u2 you can flash to the latest so this is the iphone uh, iphone 7 so i'll be using the latest version which is the 15.7 to flash this device so if you do have 15 ios 15 already you can use the factory reset option so 
let me quick flash the phone right now so now we are done flashing our device so uh, we do have the hello screen right over here popping up right over here so let's exit from the 3 2 and then head over to the uh, FRP4 RAM disk 2 so this version is version 2.2 which I think the new update is out which is the version 2.4 so so make sure to download the latest version okay so now let's close the FRP4 RAM disk 2 and then relaunch the FRP4 2 again since we have our device in pan, pan DF, uh, DFU mode I don't need to show the steps it is the same steps that we use to back up our device but this time we will go in for the activate device so let me fast forward this video So now let, let's land the two. So we're putting the device into the um, DF, uh, DFE mode right now. So we, let's land the two. So wait for the two to start our uh, launch. Just wait. So we are, now we have the two right over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is to just boot the device into pan DFE first, and then we move to boot ram disk then after that we activate our device so our links for the FRP file will be in the description of this video or also if you want to make registration for your device DM me in the comment section or send me direct direct message on whatsapp at which I'll be leaving my link in the description of the video also make sure to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment on what video you want to see next and i'll try my possible best to make a video on it for you guys so let's forward, fast forward this video and just boot the device into pan dfu mode then after pan dfu you do ram test so let's wait for the variable boot so after variable boot the next step which we are going in for which is the last step which is the activate passcode or disable screen so now click on passcode or disable screen for us to be able to activate our log device so wait for the device to finish uploading the file that we did back it up so now you see train the instruction on how to make every option works on the device so first you see the instruction over here you can read it through the instruction to get everything working so after the first time of booting the device you won't be able to access the first time so you have to reboot the device once again and then boom you will be able to access the first time IMSS Siri and also able to sign in into your into your iCloud and so also make sure to insert some card and check if your network works correctly so this is not a lock it's just my sim that has been on it so here we do have the network showing right over here so you see first time an i message will pop up the first time and will not work so all you have to do is to reboot your device and so here you see we do have core working so everything you see notification also did pop up so everything is working so let me reboot the device and show you that FaceTime also works Siri also works so wait for the device to boot up and I'll be showing you so here is it you see Siri yes yeah, Siri Siri is working okay So if you just say Siri, Siri will do respond on 
any question you do ask Siri, Siri will provide you, you with the answer. So that's it. And also let me check you see the FaceTime also works great. So that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also as I said, let's make sure to leave a comment on anything or any difficulties you'll be facing during this bypass and also DM me in the comment section on how to get your device registered or direct message me on whatsapp which i'll leave in the description the link in the description also as the download link thanks for watching